start every row, you just gotta, normally you use two people, one person holds this as you get started, but I just tie a little rock to it. That works. It works sometimes. He's laying down the plastic and putting the irrigation tubes underneath it. At the same time? At the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. What we're worried about is the, the land is so dry. Yeah, we need the rain that's hopefully coming, but it's so dry we may have to irrigate before we plant. Right, because now that you plastic it, the uh, water's not going to get underneath it. Um, and it does help the plants. Now, is this bio biodegradable yes. plastic? Yeah, it is. So you just till it under? Well, we pull we pull it up, but any it scraps, takes so long for yeah, it to... the, Exactly. You know, and people, even though it's biodegradable, like you can see little scraps of it in places. But even though you, you pull it up, it, people just don't like to see plastic even if it is biodegradable. Right, because as soon as they see it, they assume that it's petroleum plastic. Yeah. That you're bad bad we'll, we'll yank right. that so, stuff up by um, hand at the end of the season. So basically wants to leave a little bit and some scraps just get worked in, so no harm. Um, but this is the first time he can remember. You'll have to ask him if he's ever done it or had to do it in the last 20 years at least of having to put water in before even putting plants in. Most of the time you can kind of squeak by and it's nice, nice enough that you just make it. Oh yeah, there's a roll on top. Yep. With a yep. hex type soaker hose. Yeah. Thing. It's funny, it's the thinnest little plastic hose and when you when you pull it off the reel, it feels like it's nothing. But when you walk on this, because I'll have to walk up and down this, and it's as old, just putting one foot in front of the other, poke a hole, one foot, in, you know, just walking with a stick and poking a hole and putting a plant in each hole that you do. You have to make sure that you don't stab through that little tiny plastic tube, because otherwise it, you basically it's get down a, the middle, or is it down each side? If you're lucky, it's straight down the middle. Oh, okay. If like what he's doing, making sure that it's. Like he's ending a row, but right. if it's not right in the middle, um, I get thrown off. That's one thing. I'll <laughs> go and stab it. And if you stab it, because it's, it's a lot of water that goes through that, you'll end up with like a lake in a certain area. Right, right, because you got a hole in it, and it just blows right out. It doesn't keep yeah. on going. Oh, it's just... Then you got to dig into it and put a coupling in and fix it and yeah. keep it going. So basically, I have a whole store of those plastic things down in the basement. So as we start looking out, they're going... That looks a little wet. <laughs> it fills up with the tall weeds. And stuff. So we won't go through and spray anything, you know, keep the weeds down. Right. We'll just yank them or stomp on them or right. leave them there because they're not competing with the roots or the, the plants. Right. And that makes it, makes it a lot easier for those of us that have to go and harvest, but it makes it a little harder when you're looking for those pools of water. And what happened? What happened? So what we did last year before the deer got it the first row towards the front will be the peppers and then we'll finish off we did okra last year and we found out deer really love okra around here <laughs> um and then the next row i want to say we next maybe four rows we did tomatoes um maybe 35 40 different types of tomatoes um, we do the heirlooms those old gorgeous ugly, well they're ugly but the flavors what is this called? It's a lot of people don't know what to do with kohlrabi. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, my husband came sweet, up uh, with. Mm -hmm. It's I'm kohlrabi a with, sweet, like potatoes. with sweet potatoes. With sweet potatoes. Parsley, um, rosemary. Um, it, it brings out the flavor of all the food when you put that in. If you put your, your uh, fresh seasonings in at the end, and then you let it blend with your food. So here, try this that my husband came Have up tried with it already? to use mm -hmm. kohlrabi with sweet potatoes. Coleslaw, which we have the recipe for, and it's made with kohlrabi instead of your regular cabbage, but it comes out equally as good. It's marinated. It's used with vinegar and oil, pepper in it, red or green pepper, and uh, there's a little bit of a sweetness to it because you use sugar. Now for people who are diabetic, either you can use agave or you can use Splenda with it. It's a little kohlrabi. Kohlrabi with vinegar and oil. Mm -hmm. It's a nice family recipe um, of cabbage chopped up with um, onion and some garlic, and you just kind of saute it. We add caraway seed to it. 
and then we mix it with white noodles, and then we like it because we really get skin all over the <laughs> You can put cottage cheese and sour cream. Right. You can do this with kohlrabi, and it comes out the same. Nice. Because it's in the cabbage family. And it makes the whole pasta sugar lighter. It makes it, yes. Nice. And it's, I mean, any vegetable you use is good for you. Right. I mean, this is our favorite time of year. All these vegetables. Have you seen it? What it looks like? Have you you've seen what it looks like? It's kind of an alien looking, but... Uh, um, we'll be eating alien? But all you do is, is peel it and slice it and or chop it or whatever you want to do, but it's, it's great to mix with with um, noodles. Great. Yeah. So nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Have you Zucchini with um, Ida's granola. And um, these have, it with, with the granola, it already has either raisins or cranberries, walnuts in, mm -hmm. and it's not sweet at all, and it's a soft cookie. It's got a bit of a cakey texture it is. to it. Yep, it is. Um, and the, the nuts and raisins or yep. whatever that are part of the granola. Doesn't it? And, nice. and a grated, um, grated zucchini. Mm -hmm. you know, more vegetables. This, more vegetables. At this time of the year, when all the vegetables are abundant, mm -hmm. and especially you have zucchini and you have cabbage and you have um, kohlrabi, what to make with these things? So. You can always have cookies, and these freeze beautifully. I bet they do. Yes. Oh, sure, because it's a nice cake mm -hmm. cookie. And honey, I, mean, I make zucchini bars, and I I do zucchini pickles, zucchini relish, mm -hmm. a nice hot dog relish out of zucchini. It's wonderful. Tasting is underneath the bees. You have summer squash, Swiss chard, onion, broccoli rabe, radishes, arugula, pickling cucumbers, green squash, regular cucumbers, corn, patty pan squash. I like calling them flying saucers. What do you do with that? Uh, you can take the stem off, slice it up, saute it. Roast it, cook it like you would any squash, put it with onions and garlic and tomatoes, and you have wax beans. And as you go past the peddler's cart out there, please help yourself to, to a, a cantaloupe. It's a beautiful basket.